Hello and welcome to the workshop. Appreciate you stopping by. Before we jump into the sneakers, I want to take a minute to say shouts to StockX for sponsoring today's video. If you tune in regularly, you are probably familiar with StockX. StockX is an online marketplace where you can buy and sell new verified authentic sneakers, among other things like streetwear and collectibles. It's essentially a stock market of things. Very cool things in my opinion. And I love the way it's set up. I think sneakers have become investments. They have become like stocks. There's so much value there. And StockX has laid everything out in a super user-friendly way. For example, the Jordan 1 Dior. I told myself I would be willing to pay a certain amount and they are way above that right now. But you can see every sale. You can see if it's trending up or down, and it really does make it so much easier. You can also completely pivot from a sneaker like the Dior and filter your search for sneakers that are under retail, and you will be surprised as to what you find. Every couple weeks, I search for under retail sneakers on StockX. Jordans, Yeezys, Air Max collabs, really good sneakers. And the whole time, you are protected as a buyer and a seller. So we're gonna put a link in the description of this video and you can go download the StockX app if you have not already and you can check out the website for yourself. With that said, let's talk about these Travis Scotts. The infamous life test is complete. You specifically asked for this video. And so here it is. This is an official update on the Travis Scott Nike Air Max 270 React ENG Cactus Trails after one month of wearing. And when I say wearing, I mean every single day. So first and foremost, to the point I was just making about the value of sneakers and them being investments, let's talk about the market value right now, a month later, in regard to this specific sneaker. They are definitely trending up, but not drastically. Back when they released, they were going for about 450-ish dollars, maybe a little bit more, and now they are going for 500-ish, maybe a little bit more. So a $50 increase, maybe even $100 on the high end, which might not sound like much, but in the span of a month, that is not a bad return on investment if you were just holding them to then turn around and sell. Now, when you beat the crap out of most of your sneakers like I do, those prices don't apply. But a new pair of these is more expensive now than it was a month ago. That's the point. And that's a good thing if you're selling a pair. Not so good of a thing if you are buying a pair. Next order of business, we gotta discuss the fit and the comfort. And that's probably the most important aspect of this video because a lot of people are on the fence with the comfort of the 270 React. I've already said in previous videos that I did not like the comfort, was not a fan. You see the huge air unit, you hear the word React. We know React cushioning is great and automatically assume that this will be an ultra comfortable sneaker. So. Here's the deal. Number one, this is the 270 React ENG, which is more comfortable than the regular version. Maybe not by that much, but it is more comfortable. Secondly, they do get more comfortable, more cozy, the more you wear them. Not 10 out of 10 cozy. I would probably say a six and a half out of 10 as far as all day comfort goes, but that's after you've worn them a ton. Initially, right out of the box, it's probably more like a five out of 10 in my opinion.
And the main reason is the slope of the sneaker. The air bubble is so chunky in the back that your foot is kind of elevated. And it's more than I really want my foot to be elevated. It just doesn't make for a smooth and cozy stride. Again, they did get a lot better after wearing, but I've worn these a ton. I mean, every single day for a month, I am not exaggerating. I have worn them that much. Now, let's talk about the aesthetic the overall look and how the sneaker has held up as far as that goes. I was really curious to find out if this paint or stained substance would come off of the air bubble and midsole and it really hasn't too much as you can see. Maybe a little on the air bubble and if you look really closely along the very bottom of the midsole where there's some contact with the pavement as you walk and as you wear them, you can see that that it's gone, it's not there anymore, but you have to look really closely to see that little sliver that's gone. Now you could wipe the air bubble with some water and a paper towel and I think it would come right off, but we didn't want to do that. We wanted to see what happened just through the normal course of wearing them. And I think the midsole paint would be a little harder to take off, meaning you would need more than water and a paper towel, but I'm sure that that would come off without too much trouble as well. The sneaker has held up pretty damn well. It has. Other than being a little dingier than when I first got them, Lots of different materials on this sneaker and they all kind of attract dust and dirt. So it isn't a sneaker that's gonna stay super clean looking if you're wearing them a bunch, but at the same time, this colorway doesn't necessarily show dirt the way that a lighter colorway would, the way that maybe a more vibrant colorway would. So I'm pretty happy with the way they've held up, to be honest, especially because I have been so hard on them over the past month. I mean, you can look at the bottom of this sneaker. You can look at the outsole and you can see these have many miles on them already. Many, many miles. So overall, I'm actually impressed, much more so than I expected to be. They've held up quite a bit better than I expected. They improved with time in almost every area, other than the fact that they probably do need to be cleaned a little bit. I'm gonna give them a seven and a half out of 10, factoring in all factors all things. It's a dope sneaker. I love the look of them. It was some of the other aspects like comfort that I was initially worried about. So they're not Cozy Boy certified. Let me be clear about that. But they are cozy enough, if that makes sense. Also, lots of people were saying that the midsole paint was gonna basically come off right away and it was gonna be all over your carpet. That's not the case either, at least not for me. They've held up pretty damn well. That's the final verdict, the conclusion. The Travis Scott Nike Air Max 270 React ENG Cactus Trails after one month of wearing. It's official, it's in the books. Buckets, anything to add? No. How do you feel about these? They look cool. And you haven't worn them? No. All right. So you're, you're taking my word for it. Yeah. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel. How do you feel about this colorway? How do you feel about Air Max in general? Have you worn the regular version and the ENG also? And if so, did you notice a little difference in the comfort? Because I definitely did, albeit not that much, like I said. So leave a comment below and let us know how you feel. How do you feel about Travis Scott collaborations in general? What did you have for lunch? However you're feeling right now at this exact moment. Leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow. Buckets, don't let me down. Manana. There you go. Same time, same place right here. The works out with a brand new sneaker for your head top. Adios.